Welcome to the course on design of power electronic converters. We were discussing magnetics design and uh, we had uh, first reviewed the fundamentals of uh, magnetic circuits. Then uh, we looked into the losses that takes place in uh, magnetics uh, like inductors and transformers. Now let us uh, look into the terms associated with conductors. To make an inductor or a transformer you mainly need two things, one is the magnetic core and second is your conductor. So what are the important terms related to conductors? Let us look into that. So you all might have seen conductors that means your wires. So wires are of uh, these types it can be solid, a solid conductor or it can be multi stranded that means there are multiple wires small small uh, wires of small diameters they are put together and then they are twisted and so that is called as the Litz connection Litz wiring. So uh, that has got some advantages which we will see later on in the course. So uh, this kind of multi stranded arrangement may be there or a solid conductor also may be there. And they are available in different sizes. So this you can see that this is a, a, a relatively thinner wire, thinner conductor as compared to this one which is more thicker. And uh, there is some number also given over here, it is this numbering we will be discussing. This is a standard that is uh, followed for uh, conductor manufacturing. So these kind of wires or conductors are used for your magnetics design and second type of conductor that may be used what are called as the foils. These are copper foils you can see that these are like strips of copper flattened strips or foils which are also used for your magnetics design. Now this have certain advantages and uh, uh, we will not uh, go into the details of uh, this uh, copper foils uh, because this is just an introduction to magnetics design. So, we will not go into uh, how to design using copper foils, but we will be taking the simpler case which is uh, design using you know, these kind of wires. So, conductors are made of different materials. Now, normally what you know is copper. But uh, it can be also made of silver or aluminum is also something that is uh, used for conductors. Apart from that there are other materials also which can act as conductors. Now this table shows the resistivity of uh, different conducting materials. Now here you can see that, that uh, your lowest resistivity here is for silver. And then copper has uh, got a higher resistivity than that, so a little higher than gold after that aluminum and then further these have got more high resistivities. So now resistivity means that uh, the smaller it is the better it acts as a conductor and so silver would be the best as a conductor, but uh, uh, since it is expensive. So normally people use copper wires, apart from that people also use aluminum because your gold is again very expensive. So aluminum also is the next uh, over here uh, uh, which is also having a reasonable uh, resistivity. So the, the many times conductors can also be made up of your aluminum. And uh, the reciprocal of uh, your uh, resistivity is your conductivity which is your sigma w. So that uh, inverse of it is uh, uh, what is uh, shown here inverse of resistivity is your conductivity which is again shown here you can see that the lesser is the resistivity the higher is the conductivity. Then uh, this shows your alpha the temperature coefficient. Now this uh, 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 what is the importance of it uh, we had discussed it uh, before when we discussed the magnetics losses. So as uh, your temperature increases the uh, your resistivity uh, changes or, or as temperature changes your resistivity changes. 
So, this resistivity is a function of the temperature and then there is the coefficient alpha which is associated with it that is also given here. So, this uh, uh, data you can obtain uh, um, easily on uh, Google or from the uh, manufacturers uh, websites. Now, when we choose conductors then the important things to note down is uh, uh, what is the current capacity of that conductor. And associated with that is the cross sectional area of the conductor. And then next important thing is the skin depth. The skin depth we had discussed before and uh, it affects uh, the frequency of operation. So, till what frequency it can be used your conductor particular conductor can be used that also is something which uh, one should look into it. And then of course, what is the resistance of that conductor and resistance you know that that it is inversely proportional to the cross sectional area. So, lesser the cross sectional area where your higher is going to be the resistance. Now, uh, depending on your requirement you may think that okay, so this is the uh, cross sectional area of the conductor which is going to be suitable for you and uh, some other application may require different uh, cross sectional area of conductor. Now, different people may demand different different cross sectional areas that means different gauge of the wire. Now, uh, so if the manufacturers start making conductors on their own choice, then it will be very difficult for a person to go and buy wires which can be readily used. So, for that uh, to solve this problem, there is a gauging system, it is called as the American wire gauge system. It is a standardized system, logarithmic uh, system which is used uh, for uh, your standardization of the wire gauges and it is pretty old system and is used for uh, quite some time now. So, this uh, table shows that so there is a number that is given for uh, different different uh, diameters of wires. So, manufacturers uh, they usually make the wires based on this uh, gauging system it is called as in short AWG. So, here the way it is uh, the numbers are given it is like this the lower is the number the higher is the diameter of that conductor. For example, here you can see that this is AWG 1 and uh, the diameter is 7.348 and this is uh, a gauge 5 and the diameter here is 4.6. So, the diameter is lesser here and the diameter is greater here. So, in the AWG system your higher is the gauging number the, the thinner the wire is going to be. Then uh, we need the cross sectional area of the wire. So, uh, uh, when you know the diameter we can find out the cross sectional area. So, cross sectional area is uh, just uh, this cross sectional area of the wire where uh, this will be your diameter D. Further uh, you need to find out the resistance. So, those resistances in ohms per kilometer is also given for these wires. Now, this uh, data is for copper wires um, and uh, so if you know the cross sectional area and the length is taken as 1 kilometer what is the resistance of uh, these uh, conductors that is also given. Now, as your resistance is inversely proportional to the cross sectional area. So, you can see here this uh, cross sectional area is uh, greater. So, here the resistance is uh, less as compared to over here where your cross sectional area is uh, smaller 
and your resistance is relatively greater. So, as you go down as your AWG gauging number increases, your resistance also increases and your cross sectional area decreases and the diameter also decreases. Now, then now we should also be knowing that what is the maximum current that uh, these conductor whatever uh, you are choosing is able to carry because then, then you can decide that uh, for your particular application based on your current rating which is the uh, uh, gauge that you should choose. So, here you can see here that those maximum current capacity is also given here. Okay. And this is also going to decrease because uh, higher is the uh, resistance lesser will be the current carrying capacity. So, that is what uh, we see here. Further um, your skin depth um, I had told you it is something which uh, increases the resistance for AC application and it depends on the frequency. So, higher the frequency lesser is going to be your skin depth. Now, for 100 percent skin depth uh, what could be the frequency that is also given over here. So, what uh, do we mean by 100 percent uh, skin depth that means what uh, when this is your uh, cross sectional area of the wire. So, then uh, uh, over this entire uh, diameter. Uh, the skin depth I mean the con, uh, your current should be flowing and what is the frequency up to which this can happen the maximum limit of it is what is given over here. Okay. So, this um, um, also you can see that uh, data is uh, given and uh, obviously this will be I mean as uh, your uh, cross sectional area reduces your in frequency is going to increase because then the lesser the diameter uh, so higher will be the frequency for 100 percent skin depth achievement. So, like that uh, uh, this uh, is shown uh, on this slide up to uh, gauge 12 uh, there it is up to gauge 40 you can uh, obtain these kind of tables that is uh, also shown here this is still uh, AWG 28 the, the data is given and then till AWG 40 also this data is, um, is provided here. So, these uh, kind of tables and charts are very readily available on the internet uh, uh, and uh, you can uh, download them and you can select the conductor or the gauge which is going to be suitable for your particular design. So, the key points of this lecture are your resistivity it depends on temperature and uh, different materials have different resistivities usually copper and aluminum these are the materials which are used for uh, conductors. Further uh, uh, there is a gauging system which is the AWG system uh, a standardized system from which you can uh, select uh, which is the conductor that is going to be suitable for you the gauge of the wire which is going to be suitable for you. And uh, multi stranded uh, wires are used to reduce the uh, effect uh, the skin effect problem because the thinner the wires uh, become. So, uh, then uh, for higher frequencies also your 100 percent uh, skin depth can be achieved. So, for that purpose also multi stranded wires are used otherwise sometimes solid wires also may be used, but multi stranded are preferred for higher frequencies. And uh, apart from that copper foils are also used for your magnetics design. Thank you.